this is weapon modifier corruption and this is what I will be showing you today. Weapon modifier corruption is a glitch that allows you to put insane stats on your weapons, bows, and shields. Weapon modifier corruption can do anything from something as simple as a 120 attack boost on your weapon to a 9 shot spread fire bow or cluster shot bow with the zoom in. With attack up stats, it can also massively reduce friction on shields, and there's even a recipe that, that gives you a zero friction shield. And you can also get critical hit stats on your weapons as well. This glitch is insanely complicated and lengthy and will take much time and patience to get it down correctly. To do this, we're going to need to make some offset slots. But before you make the offset slots, here are some things that you're going to need. If you have the Bow of Light and you want to corrupt that as well, then you're going to want at least one bow on a mount in Link's house. You're also going to want to make sure that you have at least 60 unique items in your inventory when you're completely done with the offset slots. This means that if you need to make, say, 80 offset slots, you're going to need 80 plus 60 unique items, which is 140 unique items. One way you can choose this is by having at least four of multiple items so that you can drop two of that item on the ground, hold one of it, sell it, and then pick up that same item two times at least so that you can pick it up and sell the remainder later. You can technically do this to use one item for about four offset slots I think, but this is really slow and although you can do this if you want to, I will not be using this method because it's very slow and I already got the amount of items I need to perform this. When you're ready to make the save before performing this glitch, make sure that you either have at least three empty slots for your weapons, bows, and shields, or are okay with three random items getting pushed out of your inventory as the new ones later come back in and get rid of the old ones. You're also going to want to make sure that you have at least 10 of the special items that you'll be needing for food, because if you clear your inventory of a certain item, you end up clearing out one item from your inventory, like say, apples. If I have nine apples, and I need to use one apple for all nine recipes, by the final one, when my apple gets out of the inventory, I will lose what is called M count. Losing this one M count will completely ruin the glitch. I'll mention this M count thing again later, but just make sure you have at least 10 of the items that you'll be needing for the food recipes. And with that, I think you're all set to make your save. Sell all of your armor. If you have unsellable armor, don't worry, there's an easy solution for this. Eat all of your food. If you already know how to overload the menu, skip to this timestamp. But if you don't, you'll also want to make sure that you have six multi-shot bows and one shock arrow. You can do this with only two multi-shot bows, but it will make your life so much easier if you make sure you have six multi-shot bows when doing this, because it will save so much time in the long run. So if you have less than six multi-shot bows, then go over to any wall with at least two multi-shot bows and equip your multi-shot bow. Press ZR to pull out your bow and make sure you have the shock arrow equipped. Go in your inventory, drop that bow, and while still in the inventory, equip another bow. Unpause and pause the game again, and repeat this drop and re-equip process until you only have one multi-shot bow in your inventory. If you only have two multi-shot bows, then just drop one. That's fine. But make sure that Link's back is completely parallel to the wall, so that when you drop a bow, it'll appear in front of you. Press A to pick up the bow, and immediately pause, as when you pick up the bow, the amount that the bow contributes to overloading the menu goes down very quickly but it still lingers for a little bit, which is why this is able to work. Drop the bow you have equipped and re-equip another one. Press B or plus, but I think B is easier, to go out of your inventory and immediately press A and then plus to pick up the bow and go in your inventory. Repeat this process until the menu's overloaded. Then equip another bow that is not the same one you have equipped. If you have two Savage Lionel bows, do not equip the second one 
as because it's still a multi-shot bow, the game will think it's the same thing, and this glitch will not work. So make sure you have it desync to like a Boko bow or Knight's bow or anything that's not a Savage Lionel bow. Once it's desynced, go out of the menu, put your bow on a mount, pick it up, and you have successfully duplicated another multi-shot bow. And so now you can put two bows on the ground, which will help a little bit more. Continue this process till you have six. To know how many offset slots you'll need, count how many key items you have in your inventory, and add that number to 60. This is how many offset slots you're going to need. For me, I have 11 key items, so I'll need 71. But if you're on a 100% file... Pain. Now for this glitch, I highly recommend you get a pencil and paper, a friend's permission to spam number messages, or make a second Discord account to message yourself, because there's a lot of numbers that we're going to need to keep track of. Go over to this corner, drop as many multi-shot bows to overload the menu as you need to, until the one that Link is holding is the last piece to overloading the menu. This way, you can just equip the bow, pull it out, then the menu's overloaded. Now hold any item that has at least two. You can hold one item, two items, three items, and even four items. But four items is the maximum. You cannot hold five. After you've held four items that you have at least two of, sell the remainder of that item that you were originally holding. Now hold a fifth item, making sure not to press X out of habit like I have several times. Close out of the menu and drop it on the ground. The act of dropping four nothing gives you four offset slots. Now if you have five bows on the ground, you can just equip your multi-shot bow, pull it out, the menu will be overloaded, hold four of any item that you have at least two of, unequip the bow so that the menu is not overloaded, sell the remainder of what you were holding, hold a fifth item, and drop it. Repeat this unless you have however many you need. Once you've successfully gotten enough offset slots to cover 60 plus however many key items you have, it's time to make a second number. To find the second number, add 6, because this is the amount of weapons that you'll have in your inventory. If you do have the Master Sword, then include the Master Sword among these 6 items. Add a 3 for the amount of bows you're going to have. If you have the Bow of Light, include the Bow of Light among these 3 bows. Add 1 for every arrow type you have. I assume you're going to have all of them, so just add 6. Then add 3 for the amount of shields you're going to have, and that should be a default 18. You're going to take this 18 and add however much unsellable armor you have, in this case I have 2, add that to your 18, or if you have less arrow types, then it would be less. Once you have this number counted up, this is how many items you're going to want to have in your inventory. For me, this is 20 items, so sell all but 20. But for you, this number could be higher or lower. And make sure that the important ones, like each of the dragon horns and fairies, is among them. After you have 30 unique items in your inventory, it's time for me to explain this M count thing that I keep mentioning. So, with this M count, while I don't fully understand, it's good to think of it as a number. Right now, this number should range from like 20 to 80. It's probably not 80, but I'm just being safe here for explanation's sake. Every time I drop a weapon, this number will go down. So say my M count is 30 right now. When I drop this weapon, I will have 29 M count. When I drop a bow, it goes down to 28 M count. When I get rid of all of one item, it will go down to 27 M count. Now what we want is four weapons in our inventory, two weapons right next to us near a cooking pot, three bows, and three shields with negative 10 M count. So what we want to get to is zero M count. Keep picking up or dropping weapons until you find that you are at zero M count. You'll know you'll have zero M count when you pause the game and your inventory is completely empty. You'll know when you're in negative M count if you drop something, pick it up, and it appears to the right of your key items. You can't drop anything in your, in your inventory when you're in this state, so you can pick up one weapon and you'll go to one M count. 
Now that you're at one M count, run over to the cooking pot and drop your two spare weapons. These two weapons can be literally anything, just make sure you don't care that you will not be corrupting them. They're just there to fix your M count in a minute. Once they're on the ground, you will be at negative 10 M count. Let's start with weapons. Drop your weapon that you want to duplicate first, pick it up, and open your inventory. You should see that it's to the right of your key items. And for weapons, hold these five items. One palm fruit, one fairy, one nidra horn, one dinrail horn, and one ferrosh horn. Now drop your second item, pick it up, cook this meal again, drop your third item, pick it up, make your meal, and now it's time for bows. First, let's start with the bow of light. If you don't have your bow of light, you can just skip ahead. If you do have your bow of light, then walk over to Link's house, go over to the mount, pick up the bow that you put there beforehand, go into your inventory, equip the bow of light, then press A on the bow mount, and you should see that you collected the bow of light, but nothing happened. Pause the game, equip the bow that was on the mount earlier, and put it back on the mount. Then run over to the cooking pot. If you want the recipe that gives you a zoom in and 9 or 10 or whatever shots straight forward at once, then cook one of each of the dragon's horns, one fairy, and one palm fruit just like before. If you want the spread fire shot with no zoom in, then cook one hardy truffle, one silent princess, and one of each of the dragon horns. Drop your bow, pick it up, make the meal, and do this until all of your bows are to the right of your key items. For the shield recipe, you'll need four raw gourmet meat and one fairy. If you don't have enough raw gourmet meat to make meals for all three shields, then you can just cook the normal three horns, one fairy, one palm fruit, whatever you want really. There are others, other meals besides these that I don't know of that you can find in a Google Doc that I'll link in the description. Pick up one of the two weapons that you dropped on the ground by the cooking pot earlier and pause the game. If you got the right amount of M count earlier, you should see that from left to right there is absolutely nothing. Pick up the second item and go to one M count. Run over to the shrine, my Amagana, and get an autosave. Then as fast as you can, run over to the cooking pot and immediately pause the game and start cooking meals. You'll notice that all of your weapons were automatically sorted. This is good. Cook meals until you have 60. Preferably hearty foods, but I don't think it really matters. It doesn't matter at this point if you go down to zero of any item, so just keep cooking. Once you have 60 meals, load your autosave and take a look at your items. If you have the modifiers on them, congratulations. You are almost done. Run into Link's house and put all of your weapons, shields, and bows on a mount. Eat all of your food, and drop all of your remaining weapons. Go get another autosave at my Amagana. Now you're safe to warp and get items and do whatever. Get all the items from the vendor in ha from the vendor in Hateno Village and possibly any spare items that you might want and go to some place with multiple items and now you want to make arrowless offset slots. You're going to want to know how to do weapon smuggling. Equip a one-handed weapon and a shield, put down your square bomb, place it down on the ground then press Y to pull out your sword and shield. Press A to pick it up, and immediately after pressing A, press D-pad left to go into the shield menu, unequip the shield, throw the bomb, and explode it if you want to, and Link should have his weapon on his hand. Equip a shield again, and hold 4 of any item that has at least 2, 
and one of any item that has only one. Go out of the menu, hold target, and switch to another one-handed weapon. Next, jump in the air, and at about the halfway point, press D-pad left to bring up the shield menu. You can let go of target now. Buzz buffer using the left D-pad until Link starts to put away his shield. While he's in the process of putting away his shield, unequip the shield, and you should now have five items and one sword in Link's right hand. Go up to someone who you can sell things to, and press whistle, and then immediately A. Before you start selling the items that you have at least two of that you were holding, make sure that that fifth item, the one that you only had one of, can be seen, and it should show zero on it. This means that you're free to sell the four items that you were holding. If you do not see this item with the number zero by it, then do not sell your items. This will not give you offset slots. It will just be wasting items. So go out of the menu, pick up the items, and try again. Do this until you have enough offset slots to cover your weapons, bows, and shields, so nine, plus the amount of key items that you have in your inventory. So I need to make 13 offset slots. Once you have these 13 offset slots, or more or less depending on how many you need, reload your manual save. And congratulations, you should now have three weapons, three bows, and three shields with insane stats on them. If you get some glitchy stuff like key items duplicated or champion's abilities not working, then go get an autosave and reload it. I'm pretty sure you can just save and reload that, but an autosave is much safer, so just get an autosave and load that. And once everything's back to normal, and you have your weapons, then you can save your game. And you are now officially done. Or are you? What if I told you that you can get modifiers on the Master Sword as well? And there are even greater foods, giving you more damage on your weapons. You may be content with where you are now, but do you want more? If you want to see a part 2 of this glitch, and have me show you how to do this, then like the video. If this video gets 15 likes, then I'll do a part two and show you how to get the Master Sword modified and how to cook frozen and cooked foods. But with that, I hope you all enjoy your new overpowered weapons and I will see you next time.